What's up, guys? So today we have a question from Irie who says, Did the forum slash site admins get involved when dealing with scammers at all? If so, how did they go about sorting it out, dealing with the scammer? Or else did people just have to rely on vendor reviews and stuff? Um, so there were a ton of scammers. Um, I was like one of the reasons I think I got I got a lot. I garnished a lot of hate um, on forums is because I would call out people who were scammers or were acting like scammers, you know, because you would have like legitimate vendors sometimes who would be like, oh, you know, PM me for a DD, like basically like a DM, um, you know, hit me up, but we'll do like a direct deal where it's like there's no escrow, there's no and like I'm just not a fan of, you know, people going about that route, especially if they're newer, you know, um, to that whole scene. And you never really know how new anyone is. So, but I would think like if those people weren't new, um, if they had been experienced, they would already have that contact info or they'd be doing it. They'd be doing their business on a vendor site. Cause you got like dark net markets and then you have like, you know, private vendor sites where the vendor has their own website. So, you know, if you're, if you like a vendor good enough and they have their own site, like you don't have to hunt them down on all these different dark net markets, which is nice for them because they don't have to apply to all these dark net markets. Also, they don't have to pay. This is like a certain percentage. Like if I'm a dark net vendor, I'm selling on a dark net. I'm going to pay anywhere from two to maybe 7% um, on each sale. So I might have to raise my prices to kind of account for that loss. Um, so a little bit of tax, I might pass on to the buyer. Um, so when you create your own site, you don't have to worry about that. Um, also, as a vendor, I don't have to worry about the site exit scamming and screwing me over. And kind of the nice thing is like if a vendor exit scams on like their private web page, like that's people are going to know that relatively quickly. Um, so there's that. Um, now, there are some moderators. It's like uh, on the clear net. There are some moderators that are good um, on some dark net market forms. And there's some moderators that suck, um, that don't really do their jobs, uh, unfortunately. And that's just kind of how it is. So I would say it's a, it's like half and half, you know. Um, it's a it's kind of a shot in the dark. Depends on the forum. Depends on the dark net. Uh, depends on the dark net market. Depends on a lot of those variables. But um, from what I saw, a lot of the times, there really wasn't too many people actually policing the forums um, that I was on. So... And I hope that answers your question. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.